Hello everyone and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Eddie Griner My Career here in NCAA 13. As you can see, the games still didn't do the social media. So as we take a look at the player here, we are going to upgrade his thing here. As you can see, it's offense. We gotta have to improve that by two there so we have a lot of things to do here ready to him constantly improve on and I don't know why the game freezes once it's saving so so we got to improve this and the free okay the music gonna freeze again right here wow it's still working I'm surprised so that is it there that is it there. So now we have our next game, which we're gonna hit the key games moment in just a few in another in a couple of episodes once we get through November done. Our next opponent is the New Orleans Hornets. So as we get ready to as Eddie takes on Anthony Davis in the first the first pick who went 17 picks but was 17 picks before Eddie before he settled in in Houston. As his popularity is at 37, which hurts. So as you can see, Anthony Davis is their center man. But who will win in their first head-to-head -head competition? Will it be Anthony Davis and the New Orleans Hornets? Soon to be Pelicans. Or will it be as Jeremy Lin and Eddie Griner of the Houston Rockets? Let's find out if we're going to skip this. As we head to the Toyota Center, which last night held hosted the 20th anniversary of Monday Night Raw. Which I actually managed to, I got it on recording off the, my DVR. And Kaylin is your new Divas Champion Well, Eva said those two embarrassing words. I quit. So Eva's gone. That makes the Divas division even less credible. That Phoenix is gone. The Bella Twins are gone. But sadly, they're both in the game. 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 Eve's gone, and Kelly Kelly's gone. So, so, how is this going to work out here so, with the Divas division? Now, Caitlin, who is from Houston, so how funny is this? Eddie is representing her hometown, Caitlin's hometown. How funny is this? So, here we go. So now, let's just keep getting back on topic here. So, this is a tie to date game here. So, and there we go, and there's Douglas. He's gonna, he's gonna give it to, he's not gonna give it to Eddie, he's gonna go for it. And he will make the basket and the Rockets take the lead. And yes, the connect things. So here we go. And, uh, and they're ignoring Eddie. So here is Eddie trying to make a move against the Hornets, who are not doing so bad in real life. So Eddie's, Eddie got fouled, so that means he's going to go to the free throw line. He, he was too early, so F there, and he's moved to center. Um, I don't think Eddie fits as a center. So oh, and again too early, so we got next equipment. In the next few episodes, when we head to the uh, equipment here, when we do the uh, equipment uh, upgrades, upgrade Eddie, we got to upgrade on the free throw option. And there you see, and there's the first big mistake. So here we go as Eddie's gonna miss, see the three throw and a buzz, almost a buzzer beater. So at the end of the first quarter, the Rockets lead the Hornets 13 to 10. So now it is time for the advertisement. The NBA season blasts off. LeBron James and the Miami Heat hit the road for a duel with the Denver Nuggets. This is the NBA Thursday. As Coach McHale 
is liking what he sees. He's telling him to keep it going as Eddie is back out there with a minute 51 and minute 51 left to go in this get in the first half. So it's a five point lead for the Rockets. As Patterson is back out there and I wasn't paying attention on what position Eddie is in. And there it is and he misses again but he does get his great raise for a good shot selection. And there's Vasquez. Look out. And he blocked it and there's a steal. As Lamb. And he filled the lane incorrectly and here he goes and Eddie will score. On the fast break. And oh, a good slam dunk by Anis. How about that? Now that's a dunk no one wants to forget. And there's Vasquez. There's Jeremy Lamb as he gives it to Pat Patrick Patterson, and there's another basket. And no, I do oh, I missed. Wasn't paying attention there. Ah, oh, reach and call, and he is loving that. Coach McHale is loving the effort, and now he's at the end of the half. At the end of the first half, the Rockets lead the Hornets 36-24. Now it is time for the Sprint halftime report. And the leading scorer is Kevin Martin of the Rockets. And there's Aminu who is with Phoenix right in the Nuggets. With the Nuggets. Which expect to see him tomorrow as well. So here we go. Eddie Griner. And here we go. As he's with Lynn Sanity. Jeremy Lynn. And here we go. And he missed it. At Eddie, wake up. Now you can go. So it's a now it's a tie game. What? Okay. Keep Eric Gordon scoreless for the next two minutes. Okay. And there's Gordon, and he'll fail that up dynamic goal because he didn't keep him scoring for the scoreless for the last next two minutes. Which that's actually a new. That's actually something we haven't seen in 2K, but it's only in mine for some reason that keeps happening. And there's a reaching call, and he loves the effort. And if he loves his effort, how come he sent him out for most of the third quarter? And once again, he is a shooting guard. So there's Eddie, Eddie Griner, and he will make, he will miss his next bucket, but it was a great attempt at it. His teammate Gray did not get taken down. Here we go, Anthony Davis. So, gets as as Patterson gives it to Jeremy Lin. And there's Martin. As he there's Patterson, and he will score. And I right now at this one, and score ten more, ten or straight points. And oh boy, we haven't seen Eddie score more than ten. And within three minutes, are you nuts? And there it is, and uh, well, that was a great attempt there, but and a good shot defense for Eddie. So his teammate Gray goes up. So here we go, Jeremy Lin. And there you see Eddie trying to complete that dynamic goal. He is off, and he gives it to Lin for the assist. Three minutes left. Mike Fermelli one. This is the Mike Fermelli one network. Eddie Griner. This is the Eddie Griner my career at NBA 2K13. We're in for an exciting matchup between the New Orleans Hornets and ooh, a good block by Eddie. And he, that was his first block in the NBA. There's Eddie. He decides to give it to Patterson. 
Patterson who gives it to Martin. And there's a three-pointer. And the Rockets are within six. And and he allowed him to score there, so that was and another dynamic goal is Mount the comeback. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's okay, we have that's three dynamic goals in one game. That's pretty oh, come on, 2K. Well at least you're not EA. EA Sports who calls it the car who left the typo in with the car car bowl. And another dunk intensity reading of 40. And there it is, and another pass to Patterson, and there's assist number three for Eddie Griner. Uh, what's, Eddie, what's Eddie's thing doing? Oh no. Let's alert. Um, excuse me. Oh, where's that arrow? Where's the other arrow? That. This is a. This is a weird glitch. And he didn't get to leave assignment, but he lost his C plus. Uh. There's Eddie, gives it to Patterson, and he gets blocked. There we go. There's Lynn. Jeremy Lynn, who has 10 points so far, in case you guys are asking. And there's Lynn, and he gets blocked, but he still scores. Uh, as Eddie's been moved to power forward. The Hornets have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. So here we go. Back to Gordon. Anderson, a screen on Lynn. And another block by Eddie. And that's the second block in the NBA. So here we go. Point guard gives it to Eddie Griner. And Eddie, he's going to pass it to Morris. But Morris didn't take a shot. What a, boat, what a moron. So a five-point lead for the Hornets. But at this point, it's technically over. It's technically over. That's Eddie back in at power forward. Ugh. And here we go. As, as an, and now Eddie's back at point guard. Are you, come on. Come on. Give Eddie a rest already. And Eddie's going to try and make a shot. And nope, he didn't do it. But he'll end with a C plus. But the Hornets lose. I mean, the Rockets lose. It's, pardon me. As a poor performance, even though his teammate grades a C plus, so he gets 26 skill points for that ep for a great performance by Eddie. Even though he got two blocks and the player of the game, it is nothing but Eric Gordon as always. So now let's head on to the press conference for Eddie Griner. You guys missed a ton of free throws out there tonight. How much of a difference do you think that made in the ultimate outcome of this one? It's an unpredictable game, man. We don't usually shoot that poorly from the line, but this time we did. And that's probably why we lost. I'm chalking it up to nothing but bad luck, though. Don't expect to see us shooting like that next game. I'm not worried in the slightest. Okay, so technically, you you saw 99 cameras walk into a... Bleh. Okay, now this is where it gets excusable, because... That was a good build-up, but unfortunately didn't pay off too good. So, okay, Eddie Griner. As you can see, another GM conversation topic is available. So as you can see, the Rockets... 
if we take a look at the standings in the conference standings, as you can see for the Rockets, they are not. They are three and five. So this is their two game losing streak here. Two as we take a look at social media, it's saying oh, as you can see at the last two losses, something's gotta change. Boy, that's from Big Daddy 151. Tell me three for life saying, come on, Rockets. Why are you guys having so much trouble pulling out uh, uh, the close ones? Grinda Nation, we better see a W next time out. And Rob Mahoney says, Rocket in the midst of a terrible stretch. Grinder Nation is like a ticky time bomb behind the scenes. I'm not, not sure if he can handle this much longer. Well, let's see how he handles it when he talks to the GM. Here we go. Let's talk to the GM. And this will be the end of this episode, by the way. And defensively, did you guys, did you, did you even see his last game? He had two blocks and a steal. No doubt. All right, well, uh, thank you. And, uh, good talk, man. I'll, I'll see you later. But for the moment, I need all of our attention on winning this game against the Trailblazers. Oh, so, once again, it'll be the... Good luck. Eddie, Lo Eddie Griner will take, will face against Lewis Scott's team. So come back next time. So come back next time as the Rockets take on the Portland Trailblazers. See you guys then. Later, folks.